My name is Gabriela. I graduated in law school. I decided not to be a lawyer and I started teaching English in Brazil. It was fine, I was happy, I had my life, it was okay, but something was missing, I didn't know what. And for some time I started praying and asking God, what is it? Am I supposed to do this forever? Because I don't know if I will be happy doing this that I am doing now forever, so you gotta tell me. I had other friends who were already serving overseas and I started talking to them and they started sharing their experiences. I was like, well, this sounds much more interesting than what I'm doing, but I'm still not sure. And there was an opening in Egypt. I decided, well, let's see if I'm supposed to go, it will work out. In 15 days, everything was done. And then I realized that this was God telling me, you have to change, you have to follow me and give me your life so I can give you what you need. I came as an English teacher. I also help the choir, Sabbath school and Pathfinders. Egypt is a very hot place, it's a place with not, at least here where the school is, we don't have much green around, but the school has it. And this is something that brings us some refreshment every day. The space itself, the trees, the farm and everything that we have around us, I like it a lot. I like the fact that we can always catch up with students and talk to them and see how they are doing. You can get to know them better. And when I think about the highlights that I have experienced so far, I like, there is something that was interesting. For one day I got sick. It was the only day that I didn't go to classes. And in Brazil, when a teacher doesn't come, you get happy and you almost throw a party. Here, when you don't go, they come knocking on your door, asking you, Miss, are you feeling better already? Are you coming tomorrow? And this was something very moving because you feel that they really appreciate the fact that you are here. Um, when you are in a mission field, it's hard. It's not easy. People, usually when you see videos and people giving this, their testimonies, it's just the good part of it. And I can see that Jesus is still changing me. It's a process that I don't think will ever end. Um, every day he does something to me. Every day he teaches me something different. And I believe that the biggest thing that he has done was giving me a mirror so I could look at myself. It's a very painful process when you face yourself, when you look at yourself, um, when I think about why we go through all this process of being renewed and being transformed, I think that is because He is trying to save me and He loves me. And He chose this place to show me how much He loves me and how much He cares about me and how much He wants me to be with Him. Somehow God provides me everything that I need. It's the first time that I feel that I am actually doing what God wanted me to do. And there is nothing more rewarding in life than to do what He wants you to do. I'm very happy to be here. And what I say to you, if you want to come and join us in the ministry, is that it's the best thing that you're going to do. It's going to be hard. It's going to be somehow painful. It's going to teach you a lot. But it's going to give you something that no other job will give you as God as your boss. So if you are thinking about it, my word for you is go. If you are thinking it's because God has already called you and He has already chosen you, you just need to accept His invitation and His call.